Hello, I'm Aoife. I'm a dietitian, a hypnotherapist and a mind coach and I specialize in weight loss and getting people to their ideal weight. So today I wanted to talk about how counting calories is not a good way to lose weight. And so if you've been trying to count calories in order to lose weight, you'll know as well as me that it's super frustrating, makes you feel really bad about yourself and it makes you think that you will never get to your ideal weight. So in this video, I want to prove to you how terrible it is and how that there is another way. So first of all, in order to really understand how stupid it is to count calories to lose weight I think you need to understand how a calorie is estimated and what what it means so a calorie is actually the amount of energy it takes to raise one kilogram of water by one degree so that all sounds already totally unrelated to our body and then how is that estimated so the calorie of food say we've got a croissant or something um, that is blown up in a steel container and the energy that it emits is what um, is recorded in kilocalories. So the food is blown up in a steel container. So last time I checked, I'm not a steel container, you're not a steel container. And so already, you know, this whole story of counting calories being good for weight loss is starting to unravel. So the next thing about it is that um, athletes, they have to be very kind of precision based about their nutrition um, and they are in a controlled kind of institutionalized environment. So they'll have specialist sports nutritionists and dietitians and they are treating their bodies like actual machines and fueling them to exact grams and stuff like that. Still kind of guesswork, but they're doing it. Whereas you, you might be a normal person who wants a really cool relationship with food and you just want to be your ideal weight and you just want to be able to hang out with your friends and your loved ones and eat well and be your ideal weight. So any of that counting and measuring and all of that stuff is not going to be appropriate for your entire life because what happens when you go on holidays? What happens at Christmas? So it's, it's not good unless you're in an institution. The third thing that really doesn't work about calories is if you say that there's like 80 calories in an orange and like I learned this when we were doing, um, I'm doing a master's in nutritional medicine at the moment and even when it comes to antioxidants or polyphenols, if you're trying to estimate how much polyphenols, how much vitamin C, how much calories is in an orange, that's pretty much like saying how much does a human weigh? Like it's literally that unique. So it depends where that orange grows, what season, what year, what country, what the weather was like. Like all these factors make every single orange that exists completely different. So therefore when we kind of say, oh, a slice of chocolate cake is um, 300 calories, we're basing that on so many different erroneous ideas of calories and then what how is that going to work when you eat out okay so I found loads of problems with calories there and you're probably thinking okay but do you have any solution well the first thing is is that you know there are people out there who are slim and don't know anything about nutrition and don't know anything about calories and chances are you want to be one of them so the thing is, is that you have been cleverly designed to have hunger and fullness and taste receptors. So if a food is kind of off and kind of bad for your body, it's not going to smell good, it's not going to taste good, and we're just going to get the icks. And the opposite of that is when food seems like a fantastic idea. And so that is guiding you towards the stuff that your body needs at the time. Then as well as that, we have comfort receptors. So when your body gets more than it can currently comfortably manage, you will start to feel discomfort. And that discomfort is also linked with your weight gain. So for me as a previous binge eater and a lot of my clients, we will tell you that, and you will know if you're overweight, on the way to get overweight, it's very uncomfortable. You have to do a lot of pushing through full and a lot of like, well, I shouldn't be eating this, but I'm going to eat it because the diet starts tomorrow. So your comfort signals really matter and your taste signals really matter. And just like you know you're not cold, if you don't know whether you're cold or not, you're probably not. It's the same with needing food. If your body isn't telling you, oh, I'm hungry, if your stomach isn't saying, oh, I am hungry, I need food, 
well then you don't need it okay and the good news about that is just like body temperature and all those other things your your body doesn't really have a memory so whereas we might be feeling really guilty about what we ate yesterday your body's already moved on just like if you wore a denim jacket yesterday evening and were too cold your body isn't holding that against you and it's the same with food so the only thing you need to think about now in order to get your idea ideal weight is in this moment whether you're hungry or full or needing anything or not needing anything and then what would taste amazing and what would feel good and having the kind of respect for your body and trust that of course those sensors are all there to bring you to your ideal weight and that's why gaining weight was so darn uncomfortable so um i hope that helps and if you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you soon again